This is the Big Sky Steerman Show, and today we are rib stitching vintage aircraft wings. For rib stitch spacing, you'll have to read the book and see what your special plane requires. For the Stearman, we've created a pattern here so we can just use this quick to mark the ribs that are inside the slipstream and then the ribs that are outside the slipstream and then we use a chalk line to connect to marks over there so that we can make sure they all look straight because you can see this from the outside after the paint is on. So it's nice to have them all straight and looking good. This is the Stearman wing and it is ready for rib stitching. We have put on the fabric and it's been pre-shrinked and pre-doped with poly brush. And uh, so now what we're doing is we're putting reinforcing tape on it. So this is special strong reinforcing tape to go under the rib stitch so it doesn't break through the fabric if there's any fluttering while flying. So we want them to, this to look as straight as possible because this shows through on the final paint. You can see if there's a big swoop-de-doo in it. So we uh, make sure we lay it down as straight as possible. Kind of just do it all at once or do it in two parts and then lift and, and uh, just make sure it's straight. This being a lower wing means it has push-pull tubes that go inside of it to control the aileron. So we need to make sure that these rib stitches don't interfere with the movement of the push-pull tube. So what we do, we need to cut this open and see where the push-pull tube's at and, and make sure that the stitches that are going near the tube are in the right spot. I'll need to cut open the fabric. Watch me do this. <laughs> Wing inspection doors will be installed in these two locations later on. On our marking stick, we we mark what marks work for, to avoid the push-pull tube. So I've put those marks on and I'm just gonna poke the needle through into the other side hole to confirm that it's not interfering with the push-pull tube and we should be good. So there's the end of the push-pull tube. Yeah, so we can see that it's clear, this bottom stitch is clearing the push-pull tube even, even a little higher, so it's okay. okay. We're all clear, we got the marks down. So now we can start cutting our cord and start stitching. Okay, so now we're ready to stitch. So we figured out that it's about to do five arm lengths for these shorter ribs. Two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so right now we're just pre-poking the holes so it'll be easy to send the needle back and forth. And you like when we poke the holes, we want to be as close to the rib as possible so it doesn't, if you get a far enough away, it'll pull the fabric towards the rib and either rip the fabric or scrunch it up. So just want to be as close to the rib as possible. The knot we use is called the sign knot and you'll find it in the AC 43-13 book. And uh, it's easier if someone shows you how to do it. So, okay. With, with the rib, we will start at the first stitch, we'll go through, through the right side to the other side. It'll be passed back and we'll go through twice. And we'll tie a square knot and a half inch to lock the first stitch. I look, I look through the hole find the other hole. Okay. <laughs> so for this first stitch, we go through twice. Pull it through. Keep a hold of your tail. And we send it back through. Okay, and we pull it through. Keeping a hold of the tail so it doesn't get sucked through. Now we pull it back and forth to make sure it's tight and not caught on anything. And then here we do a square square knot, so coming from the top, coming from the bottom. 
pull it tight. Pull it over so that it'll fall into the hole and it'll disappear into the hole. Next step is to send the needle up to the next hole. And we kind of pull it tight. I'm gonna pull up so you don't rip. If you pull down, you're gonna rip the fabric. So we got this now. So now I'm gonna send it to the next, to the other side. So I'm holding this, this tail from down here because it has to go on top of the needle. So the needle has to go through, it becomes a loop. So that loops, so I'm keeping a hold of that first string that comes down here. What you do, you go into the hole, twist, then you go, that goes over, and that goes over. Now I'm holding, I'm holding that one, I'm pulling this through. And I'm pulling, pulling that, that one that I had <laughs> last. Now I'm switching hands so that I can start tightening it to the side. It's tight. So I still want to pinch that one tight. I'm still keeping hold of that one because that's the tightening, tightening side. So I'm holding that tight and then I'm going to pull that fast and there you go. There is your sign knot. Go up to the next rib, I mean rib stitch area. <laughs> pull it up and send it to the other side. Is this looking too complicated? Just have us do it. Okay, there's, this is the string that comes from here. I have it above the needle, the needle came through there. Now with the point of the needle, we go into the bottom one, from the top down, and we twist the needle. Then we put this part over the needle, then we put this over the needle. And now I'm pulling, pulling it through. Okay, so this, this is the tightening string that I had last. So I'm still gonna pull that, but then this kinda <laughs> gets the knot and make sure there's no loops inside of the wing. So, okay, so now I'm gonna switch hands so I can pull it this way so that the knot can actually go into the hole and hide to the side of the rib. Okay, so now I'm pinching, pinching that string that's the tension string that holds it tight and then this, this is gonna take away the loop. Voila. Okay, so on this last knot, yeah, there's no real eye holes, so you kind of just look over the wing, or or I can grab it and yeah. send it through. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, and so we tie we tie one last knot, our special sign knot. Oop, pull it tight, and at the very end, we're just gonna do one half hitch. So we come up through under the, the loop and just make one loop through it. And that's done. Okay, that's one down, 15 more ribs to go. And that's rib stitching. I hope you like this video. Maybe now you feel like you can rib stitch your Stearman wings. And if not, you can have us do it. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching The Big Sky Stearman Show. You crash them, we fix them. Exactly. <laughs>